Well, starting next week, millions of people who took out student loans will have to start paying them back again. Most Buffalo's Kelly Dudzik joining us live now from the newsroom with what you can do now to make sure you're ready to make those payments again, Kelly. Hi, Kate. Not everybody will have an October 1st due date, so it's important to log into your account right now to make sure you know when you have to pay your student loan by. Today, I talked with Sarah Foster, an analyst with Bankrate. She says about 44% of borrowers have a new servicer since they last made payments before they went on pause during the pandemic. And if you're worried about being able to afford your payments, Sarah says the new save plan might be for you. Americans who make about $33,000 or $32,000 a year within that window, you might not have to make a payment of more than $0 a month because the way that the Department of Education determines the amount of income that is subject to payment, uh, so your so-called discretionary income, that's actually increasing. So you theoretically might not really see, you know, this could be the cheapest payment plan out there for you. She says the reason for that is next July payments will be based on 5% of that discretionary income for undergraduate borrowers instead of 10%. There is a grace period through the end of next September where if you miss a payment, it won't be reported to the credit reporting agencies. I have a lot more information included with this story online. On your side in the newsroom, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.